What's up, everybody? I'm Sly, the movie guy, and here's my movie review of Doolittle, directed by Stephen Gaggin, starring Robert Downey Jr. and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, after his wife's death, Dr. Doolittle decided to hide from the world with his beloved animals. But he has to take a journey to a mysterious island to find a healing tree, which is the only medicine that can help to the dying queen in Buckingham Palace. And this film was not like my like one of my like most anticipated films of 2020, and it's coming out in the month of January, so that plays a part of that. And the reason why I watched this film because it was like it was Robert Downey Jr. and Robert Downey Jr. is like one of my favorite actors in Hollywood. I mean, the man, this is very talented actor. I mean, anything like if you put Robert Downey Jr. like in, in like any movie, I'll go see it. Name any movie Robert Downey Jr. I just like go straight to the movie theater and see it or buy it on Blu-ray. Because I think the man's very talented. So, I like, going to the movie there, I was just kind of iffy because I've seen the trailers of it. And the trailer's like, eh, okay. I mean, there's some stuff in there I like from the trailers. There's some stuff I was questioning on and stuff, like CGI and stuff. And, and the, stuff, the way it's done and stuff like that. Certain elements of it. I was like, kind of like, uh, I don't know. So I was kind of like, if you go in the movie theater, and then sometimes when I go to movie theater and stuff, check out movies, I usually be surprised. I mean, sometimes trailers I don't be impressed with, then I go to movies, it'd be the total opposite. And from a, I'm sadly to say, that wasn't the case for this movie. This movie is not that great. Uh, I wanted to like it, and I think this movie had potential, which I will elaborate in my review and stuff, but... This movie, which is not that great, is it the worst movie I like? I've seen like the worst of all time. No, it's just, it's just not that great. There's some things I, there's little pause about this film. I'll, I'll say in this, and the little small pause I'll say is, I think Rob Downey Jr. tried in this movie. I think he really tried as Doctor Doolittle in this film. It, that's pretty much the only pause I can say. I think he tried for what's given him with the script and stuff and the direction the director was going with. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is fail, it fails on, on so many levels. Let me start off with the biggest thing. It's part, of, part, part of it is the comedy in this movie. Comedy really falls flat in this movie, and that's the part I really look for. I mean, if you've seen the, like, the original Dr. Doolittle's with Ed, the Eddie Murphy one, even though the Eddie Murphy one's like the remake to the... The not the other one with the 1967 version, but the Eddie Murphy ones they were really fun, especially the first two. The first two were absolutely funny. That star Eddie Murphy, I thought they were very funny. I thought some of the jokes really hit for me on those others. If you don't like them, that's fine. But for me, I thought the jokes in the first two Doc Doolittle films with Eddie Murphy really hit me with a home run. The jokes here was not a home run here, and that was really disappointing. I mean, there was el there was some parts I like, kind of like little chuckled, but overall, I didn't have like a butt gust and laugh like that with this movie. And this is weird. I mean, you I think you had like Tom Holland and Tony Banderas in here in this movie, and Selena Gomez, and that's really like disappointing. I mean, the jokes really fell flat, and I really blame that on the screen, the screen right, this the screenplay. It's real like the, the jokes was not clever at all. I didn't laugh at all. There were jokes I was like trying to like grin, but I just couldn't. And it was just, it was heartbreaking. I mean, that's part of this part that supposed to be like your, your highlight in your movie. And that was, that was one of the failures. And that's where, I mean, you have Rob Downey Jr. in the film. Usually Rob Downey Jr. in movies are, he's funny. Especially like if, when you see him in the role of Iron Man and Kiss Kiss Bay Man, this guy knows how, to like throwing like one liner jokes, and here it just there's nothing funny. He wasn't funny, and the animals wasn't funny. And I mean, this is a man that's talking animals, so there should have been some funny elements here, and that wasn't. And one of the other elements I say is the storyline. Now, far as I like the concept where they the kids like end up finding as the move go along, where the kids finds this doctor that's like kind of like since the death of his wife, he's like all alone and stuff. He doesn't want to be bothered and stuff like that. And then they take him on a journey to save the dying queen and stuff. I like that concept. But the execution of the story, it just, as the movie was going on, it just was boring and, uh, with the comedy. And that was, like, just disappointing. I just The story was just kind of like, 
didn't give me no like excitement. This is like the adventure. So when it go on this adventure, I just didn't have like that sense, like that urgency of like the fun, like the excitement, the experience I have when adventures movies like in a movie theater, like with Raiders of the Lost Art. That was like an adventurous movie and stuff with the action and stuff. That worked well. That was executed perfectly and directed by Steven Spielberg, and I recommend you checking that out. And this could have been like that. I mean, uh, and I don't know if this du this director's uh, a lot of work, what films he have done and stuff. So that's why I haven't looked at his, uh, his filmography. But I can re it really shows here that this, that this director kind of like didn't have a sense of like the adventure here. And it just was kind of bland. And that was very disappointing as I was watching the film. I just didn't have that sense of urgency. Like I got that experience like, wow, woo. Everything and it was in this movie had potential. There were some aspects I like, like say, oh, you had me there, and then it just falls flat with some of the comedy stuff and all that and the animals, and that was just like disappointing. I wanted this event, I wanted it, and this is a venture film, and I wanted it to be like, like so exciting for me. But certain parts it just wasn't great. Character development here, the kids and stuff, Rob and Jan. I just didn't really like her. Robert Downey Jr.'s storyline, I tried to care, but it just it was, it just didn't give me enough. And the other character development with these other characters, it just didn't work. And some of the characters in this film just felt like kind of like out of place, and the tone was all over place with the character development. I mean, the tone is just certain characters act different from the other one, from the other characters, and it just kind of didn't blend in well. And I was just like. Trying to figure out what kind of film this is, especially in the third act when it came to the dragon. Which you've seen the trailers. It just it felt like a totally different film. It's like the first, second, and third act. It felt like a whole like totally different film, and that is a really big boo boo in your film. I mean, when you have like different tones going on in your film, that really throws me off a little bit. I mean, usually films, I I still give like a good grade, even though like the tones all just all play, but here it just like all over the place, and that's really the big, ne that's a negative for me. Another negative I have is the CGI it, and all this. Now, the CGI and the visual effects. Some of it, I was like, okay, some of it's great, but some of it was just felt a little cartoony a little bit, felt like something was made in the early 2000s, and then this movie came out in the early 2000s, I was like, okay, you're ahead of your time. I can get what you're doing. But since we've seen like movies like The Jungle Book and uh, and Lion King, that great visual effects with the animals and all that, photorealistic and all that stuff. This the, it, 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 this movie, I like, think I don't think have the excuse for that. Don't they have excuse to be this bad on CGI? But and that's one of the negatives. I mean, the CGI, some of it looked very cartoony. I was like, okay, we're ahead of our. We should be like. We should know how to make like these animals look realistic and stuff like that with the the, the technology we have. And I think this budget this movie was like one hundred seventy five dollars, so one hundred seventy five million. I think so. What happened? I don't know. And that's one of the things. And and that's pretty much why I'm gonna go with this movie. And another, let me mention. Forgot to mention this. The nugget negative is Robert Downey Jr.'s accent, which I. Y'all probably have heard many times, like, from the credits and stuff. It really did get annoying. And that was one of the aspects I did not like in this movie. It's, and some of it is real. Some, Sometimes when actors give up accent and stuff in films, it works. I mean, like, Knives Out last year with Daniel Craig did as a detective, it worked. But here, this movie, it absolutely does not work with Rob Downey Jr. It's, it's if I can, like, mimic, like, this... This, no, man, this, this is a journey of everything. I must look. It really didn't work. I just couldn't buy into it. And I was just like, uh. And it, and it is Robert Downey Jr. That breaks my heart. I mean, I could tell Robert Downey Jr. tried, but it just, it was just so, it, it made me cringe. And I was just like, uh, why? And that's one aspect. That's one of them. Overall, this is not a, not like the worst movie of all time. Just 2020. This is one of the not the best movies of 2020. And I, this was a little bit felt like this movie had potential. But it just fails on every level in the book. And that's pretty much why I'm going to leave this movie. I went too long on it. And that's I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to give this film a solid D.
could have went low in this film because I, like, I think Robert Downey Jr. tried. And I, there's certain pop like things that I felt like had potential, but it just it just didn't work out. And I gave this a film a better grade than I said because I could have went low. But like I said, so I said that I think Robert Downey Jr. tried. And I think this film had potential, but none of the things didn't work. But let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this movie? Did you like it or not? Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, click thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button. That's so I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.